This is Attorney Mike Garvin coming to you from Chicago, as usual. And today I've got an awesome clip. It's Judge Lanice Bryant. I've done another video on her. The thumbnail said, uh, this is not treatment. She's a hoot. She is in this one as well. This is the greatest sovereign citizen shutdown I've ever seen in court. Hands down. It's fantastic. It's probably better than Judge Hurley telling uh, David Hall that if, if he sees David Hall, uh, tell him he's not getting out of jail. It's that good. Let's do it. From the secret headquarters of the Sovereign Citizen Patrol, initiating video production sequence. We are no longer playing. So let's get revved up. It's time for Law Talk with Mike. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning and good morning. Great morning. <laughs> All right. Okay. I am Judge Lanice Bryant. Welcome to the 36th District Court. You are at the 36th District Court. You are at 36th District Court. You are at 36th District Court. Where are we, Judge? Court. You are at 36th <laughs> District Court. You have logged into 36 District Court. You are no longer in your bedroom. You are no longer in your living room. You're no longer in your dining room, your kitchen. You're, you're no longer there. Judge, I just have one question. Where are we? You are at 36 District Court. Thank you. Therefore, I <laughs> expect that you will act accordingly as if you are physically present in that courtroom. All right. I am finishing up my live here <laughs> uh, the, the defendant in the middle square there is, is raising her hand <laughs> i guess isn't the craziest approach but it's funny all right um the other thing is that you are looking in a camera you're not looking in a mirror you're looking in a camera <laughs> so that means that we're looking back at you I am going to send most of you to a breakout room. Please do not leave the breakout room. Someone is going to come into the breakout room to speak with you. Do not leave the breakout room. Someone is gonna come into the breakout room to speak with you. Do not leave the breakout room. Someone is going to come into the breakout room to speak with you. Do not leave the breakout room. Should I leave the breakout room? Someone is going to come into the breakout room to speak with you. <laughs> Um, Miss Stevenson, now today I probably do need your help. On those other days, I don't really be needing your help, but today, <laughs> okay, if I'm sending somebody to the breakout room that has a lawyer attached to them, let me know. So, because I don't have my printed document, yes, um, sir. And you must be in your camera, we must be able to see you, or else I'm going to have to remove you from the courtroom. You must be in your camera. We must be able to see you or else I'm going to remove you from the courtroom. All right. Um, so I'm just going to go um, based on my screen because, again, I don't have a printed document. So um, Mr. Reader, Damien Reader. When prompted to do so, please accept to join the breakout room. When prompted to do so, please accept to join the breakout room. So I'm gonna send Mr. Render, I should say, I'm sorry, Damien Render to breakout room number one. Deshaun Smith to breakout room number two. John, oh no, that's an attorney. Uh, Lisa Hodge to breakout room number Three, uh, Bonita Sealy to break out room number four. Did Miss Did Miss Stevenson leave me? I told her to help me, and she left me. Oh, Lord have mercy. Miss Muldrow is um Johnson Curley. Is that retained or appointed? Oh yeah, that's that's Barton. Okay, I'll leave her in the waiting room. All right. Okay, Miss Seely is in pro per. I'm gonna 
put you in the um, waiting room briefly. I was able to print a screen off of JIS. So I do have a part of the docket, but I don't have the whole thing now that I've remembered that. Then I'm ready and I'm gonna take them in this order. I'm gonna take a Sealy and then, okay, this is case number uh, 07. No, strike that, I apologize, that's not. Case number. This is case number 174612601, the people of the state of Michigan versus Bonita Ayana Sealy. The defendant is charged with one count of assault or assault and battery. And today is the date set for an arraignment on a bench warrant. Appearances, please. Good morning, Your Honor. Christina Ritter on behalf of the people, P number 8350505. All right, ma'am, please unmute yourself. <laughs> I like how she's completely under unprepared, fumbling for her glasses. Don't worry. I know it's been a little bit of a buildup, but it's completely worth it. State your uh, uh, name for the record, please. Islam, I self law and master and proper persona, so jurist or heritage of the land. Ma'am, I said state your I said state your name. <laughs> I, mean, it's, I will state for the this X rail. This Ma'am, listen. Office, let me say this to this you. This trade this. name. No, this trade name. This. If you did not come to court, if you didn't come to court to participate in court, please don't come back to my courtroom. So um, I, I don't, I, I, I've muted you. So therefore we can't even hear what you're saying. Um, so let me be clear. If you have not come to court, because let me just be clear. If here, okay, well, you have a great day. Have a great day. If, if I didn't think someone had jurisdiction over me, I promise you. I would not even get out of my bed. I, I promise you, <laughs> let me say this. If a person did not have jurisdiction over me, if I believed that a person, that an entity did not have jurisdiction over me, I promise you, I would not get up out of my bed. I would not take a time off of work. I would not stop anything that I was doing for that day to come to court to say these things. Number one, you know it's going to get you nowhere. There is no, it, it's, it's like speaking Spanish to an English speaking person. So if you believe, Miss Sealy, from the bottom of your heart that, that I nor this court has any jurisdiction over you, ma'am, don't come. You don't, don't come because there's nothing. There is absolutely nothing. There is nothing that I can do for you. If you are not interested in proceeding in, in a manner that we can understand you, if you're going to simply read off some stuff to me, it, it, it's equivalent to me going over to England since you, since apparently, you all don't believe that you're citizens. I, I don't really care what you believe. It, it is equivalent to me going over to England, getting arrested, and then telling the, the telling the them I, I don't uh they don't have jurisdiction over me. If they let me go home, I promise you, if I didn't think they had jurisdiction over me, I'm not showing up. So do don't okay so we can try this one more time if you want to state your name for the record so that we can have the name for the record then you can state your name for the record wow i did not see this coming i was <clears throat> doing this because i've had problems with sound and i was just doing a sound check i i just uh clicked on this because i like i like uh, judge lunice bryant's call 
I, I did another video on her and she's uh she's full of personality and I I have to say I am duly impressed. She just shut down a sovereign citizen like everybody's been wanting to see since I've been making these videos. If you're going to say all of that other stuff to me that I don't have jurisdiction, then then I'm going to I'm going to subside and I'm going to go ahead and move on to the to another case. I am going to remove you from the courtroom because this is going to get us nowhere. Nowhere. Now by the time yep. you've said all of this, by the time you've done all of this, this is a 2017 case. We probably would be finished with the case by now. Probably would be. Probably would be. Of course, I'm not going to give legal advice. I'm not going to say what 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 she should do and how she should respond. Probably would be finished with this case by now. Okay, ma'am, please state your name for the record. Bonita Ayana Davis Seeley. Thank you, Miss Seeley. Well, that Today worked. is the date set for an arraignment on a bench warrant. How are we proceeding? Innocent. The court is going to enter a not guilty plea on behalf of Miss Seeley. I will set this matter for a pretrial conference. This is a child abuse fourth degree case. Strike that again. I keep looking down at your client's, at looking up at your client's case. This is an assault or assault and battery case. The court is going to set the matter for a pretrial conference. The complaining witness is required to appear. Failure of the complaining witness to appear will most likely result in the matter being dismissed. Probably could have already been dismissed. I don't know if you have contact with the complaining witness or not, Ms. Um, Ms. Ritter. However, the complaining witness is required to appear at the pretrial conference. Today is December the 6th. The court is going to set the matter for January the 6th. At 8.35. I'm sorry, 8.25. That denotes the arraignment portion. 8.25. As I indicated, the complaining witness is required to appear. Failure of the complaining witness to appear will most likely result in the matter being dismissed unless the people have a valid explanation for the failure to appear. Bond will continue with no contact with the complaining witness. Anything further? That's in front of people, Judge. Thank you. <laughs> Anything further, Ms. Seeley? Emma? Well, I would like to say something, but I see that we... <laughs> I'm going to just keep my peace. I'll, be, uh, I'll see you guys on the 6th of January. Uh, all right. Then you have a great day and stay safe. You too. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Wow. I did not expect that. That was absolutely fantastic. I, I don't even, I don't even know what to say. Like I said, I was... I was doing this just because I like her call and I was, I'm doing a sound check. I hope, the, I hope the sound worked out on it. I didn't have much to say because I was just blown away. Uh, the, the judge just unloaded on a sovereign citizen <laughs> in the way we've all been hoping a judge would. It, it was beautiful to watch. And the prosecutor was excellent too. After all that, she's like, do the people have anything to say? She's like, nope. <laughs> Which is fantastic. It's good law. I literally learned this in law school and heard it from a thousand attorneys coming up, you know, which is if you're winning, shut up. Okay. You know, uh, but she, uh, she told the sovereign citizen she was not going to put up with this stuff. The sovereign citizen had to uh, relent and just say her name. She did consider <laughs> uh, adding stuff at the end, but even pulled back on that. So uh, we, we've got an assault trial on January 6th. Mark your calendars. I actually want to see that. <laughs> oh, this is fun.
Here at Law Talk, we like to have fun with uh, silly stuff that happens in court and every once in a while and completely by accident, I assure you, you might learn something. Thanks for watching.